Good evening, Victory Tribe, and welcome to Victory Now. I'm Jeannie Briley. And I am Michelle Repke. We are so excited mm. to be here tonight. Yep. Uh, so glad you could all join us. We are going to talk about some foundational teachings yes. from God. God is yeah. so good. And everything that we're going to be talking to you tonight, uh, we have found a lot of it from... Um, Carly and Ashley Teradez. Yep. They are connected with Karis Bible School, and they have um, a wonderful. If you go to their website, they have a. a yeah. It's a school. It's got it's a free. lot of lessons. It's free. That's Woo-woo. the best part. And well, I mean, best part of course they teach the truth they out do. of the Bible. They do, but it's um, free. Yes. So that's good. Um, okay, we're going to start out with God is good. Wow. Okay. That's so simple. We have spent two hours talking yeah. about the goodness of God. Yeah. And we're going to, the first scripture we're going to base that on is James 1, 16 and 17. Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Every good and perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Mm-hmm. And you know what? If it says do not be deceived, guess what? You can be deceived. You can be deceived. So yeah. how do we not be deceived? We always go to the Word of God, and we're always thinking about yeah. the goodness of God. Yeah, it's so good. You know, what I when I read that scripture, the deceived part was pretty good. Mm-hmm. You know, to understand that we can be deceived, sure. so that means we can get a different picture of the true nature of God, and that's what we're talking about tonight. Is that God is good, mm-hmm. and there have been so many things throughout our lifetime, you know, um, where Things have happened, and you almost, your mind wants to say, well, why did God do this, or why did mm-hmm. God allow this? So then your mind kind of goes in a direction where, is God good? You know, and so when the scripture says, do not be deceived, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, is from our yes. Father God, and comes down, and there's no variation <laughs> of shadow in Him, like um, I think I told you, I shared with her Sunday about how the Lord showed me this, is that sometimes when we're humans that we can um, we can see what other humans do to us. Yes. You know, sometimes um, the people around us can hurt our hearts very badly. And then when things happen in our life, we can look at God as if He's on a human level and that we, our minds can think, you know, is God really good? You know, like all these things happening around me because we base our view of Him off of what a human has done to us. And so tonight, when we go through these scriptures, like we, oh, you know, my prayer is that you would see God for who He really is. Like, that's yes. why we're here. Yeah. We're here to help you. If you have things going on in your life, you've been deceived, as the Scripture says, into thinking that maybe God's not good. That's why we're here tonight, is to let you see the true nature of God. Now, we have so many experiences <laughs> that we can tell you God is good and He has no shadow of turning because we've seen His goodness work in our lives. Yes. And, you know, and so these are some questions, though, that people's had. And so we're just we're going to go through these and and um, talk about this with you. Yeah. God is good. All the time. All the time. We want to get it settled in your heart. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to go right on to James 14, 8 through 9. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, Hmm. and it is sufficient for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Hmm. When you look to Jesus, when you have an encounter with Jesus through the word or through being born again or through prayer time or whatever, you are having an encounter with the Father Mm -hmm. because they are one in the same. Just, you know, Jesus is in the flesh. Jesus was in the flesh when he came to the earth to teach us about the Father. Yeah, he was in the flesh. And, And what got me on this was that even though Jesus was in the flesh, John, um, 
1, 11 says that he came to his own and his own received him not. Even Jesus being in the flesh, their hearts weren't prepared at that time to even see Jesus was an exact representation of the Father. And so when we want to know what God's like, all we have mm-hmm. to do is look at Jesus. And and so that's what we've been discussing, you know, that my views of God was very distorted. Like I didn't see God for who He really was yeah. because, I, you know, I, I didn't have that teaching of God is good, God is love. I didn't have all that. Mm-hmm. And so I missed out on a lot. But then, you know what, when I first got born again, the Lord said, okay, if you want to see, if you want to know how to be a Christian and and live the life that I've called you to live, look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. Look Jesus at Jesus. Will forever give you all the answers in the way. Yeah. In the Word, He'll show you exactly what it is, the direction that you need to be going in through the Holy Spirit and through the Word of God. Mm-hmm. Um, look at, look at Hebrews, look at Hebrews. Mm -hmm. Let's read that Hebrews one, three, because this is like one of my favorite verses on when we want to see the nature of God, Hebrews one, three out of the amplified says Jesus, which it says he, but Jesus is the sole expression of the glory of God. He is the perfect imprint and the very image of God's nature. So Hebrews tells us, you know what? When you want to see God, look at Jesus. Mm -hmm. Just look at Jesus. And if you go on to uh, Ashley and Carly's website here and you go through these lessons, Ashley says, which was pretty funny though, he said, if God took a selfie, it would look just like Jesus. (laughs) And so think about though Jesus. What did Jesus do when he lived on earth like he represented the father he i mean he was blessed. he did he go around beating people up well no did he go around snubbing people you know like what how did jesus live and most of us have a background and we know the the four gospels we've seen jesus walk and we can look at jesus and see all the good that he done jesus's job was to destroy the works of the devil And so while he was here, he was showing us God's heart. He was imprinting to us, like this says, who God is. He was God's heart walking in the flesh. Full of love and compassion. Yeah. And so if you have questions, is God good? Look at Jesus. Because Jesus, he was was amazing. I I mean, just... And even getting to know Jesus now, what a what has he done in our hearts? You know, what has Jesus done for us on an individual level? And yet he loves the whole world. But on an individual level, man, he does wonders in our heart. Just this morning, okay, I went to my, I know this is not a part of our thing, but this is, told you. (laughs) My prayer time this morning was to go lay my head down in his lap. Mm Mm-hmm. And allow him to just brush his hand over my head Mm -hmm. and just to soothe every crack. If there was any cracks, I don't even know that. But I'm just saying that's what he does. That's who he is. He is all about love. Mm -hmm. Mm. When I first got born again and I didn't really um, have a, on this earth, I didn't have a very good example all the time of an earthly father. So it was really difficult for me to understand yeah. the love of a father, the yeah. the selfless love, the love that's full there of compassion and that's yeah. always wanting to take care of you and make mm. provisions mm. for you. I'm not so sure that I, well, I know I didn't have that. So when I came to know Jesus and wanted to know God, I've always told people if it was God, the mother, I would have had it made. It would have been so simple, <laughs> but it took, because I could relate because my mom yeah. was always there, but it takes a little bit. It just took some intimacy. It took some getting to know the Lord. It took uh, reading the Word. And I used to, when when He said, you know, and, and He's trying to teach me this, I used to get up in the morning and I'd put on <laughs> praise and worship yep. and curl up in the corner on the couch mm. and pretend like yep. I was sitting in God's right. lap. Yep. And I yep. was His daughter. Yeah. And, and that's, that's where yes. I learned. I began to learn. He yes. began to, through yep. the Word and this, through, through teaching me and, and ha- helping me to feel and understand His love for me, that's where it all began. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it's continuing to grow today. I wow. don't mind to tell you I crawl up in daddy's lap every oh, once in a while. Yes. It's a good place to be. It is. And Safe. It, his presence is, is, is amazing. God is good. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> he is good. We're going to get back on track? Yep. Okay. For now. For now. For okay. now. We, we have a tendency to roam a bit, and it's okay. Yeah. Um, we could go to here. Jesus chained everything. In the old mm. covenant, a lot of people thought that every time something happened bad, even if it was bad or weird or whatever, they yeah. just thought that it was God doing it because they didn't have an understanding of Holy Spirit. Um, of the devil. Of the devil. They didn't understand yeah. that the devil was there trying to wreak havoc on the world yeah. like he still is today. So, but we have a lot of control. We have that yeah. authority over that yeah. now. Well, so. a lot of people go back to the old covenant and when they read the old covenant they they see that harshness but yet when i think about the old covenant and the new covenant what i see in the old covenant is that satan was there whether people know it or not but he was there trying to destroy the plan that god had in motion for us for jesus mm -hmm. the son to come because we got ourselves in a mess Yes, we do. In the Old Testament. Like, mm. we are the ones that got, you know, Adam in the garden, um, he he disobeyed. He went and partake of the tree that God told him not to. And then, and then, like I was sharing with you earlier, you know, even at the Mount of Sinai, when God was, you know, dealing, he wanted to talk to the people. He wanted mm -hmm. to talk to them, and they just told Moses, no, we can't handle his voice. Mm -hmm. You know, they got a lot of fear on the inside of him, and they said, just, we'll do whatever he says. You know, we'll just we'll just do whatever. We can do it. We can do it in our own strength. Yeah. And so they got themselves into a mess in the Old Covenant, and God's plan the whole time from the Old Covenant to the New Covenant was to bring that New Covenant, a better covenant, which is based off of Jesus' works, Jesus's strength and not our own. So now, now we have a new covenant. God can deal with us through Jesus. Mm -hmm. He doesn't deal with us on a, you know, did they do good today? Did they get it all right today? Right. Did they do all the sacrifices today? God don't deal with us that way no more mm -hmm. because of Jesus. So that is like, man, just think about that for a minute, because <laughs> your works is not what gets God to be good to you. God is good to you all the time anyway, and it's because he's so good to you that your works come out on top. Oh, yes. It's, yes I mean, that, your good works, your good preach. works for the Father. Preach. Preach. I can <laughs> preach, yeah. Jesus oh, has changed everything. Yes. We don't have to work anymore. We mm. don't have to sacrifice and, and, and do mm. all the stuff that have God. God loves us so much. He is so good. He has a plan for our lives. And all we have to do is to listen. We first yeah. we've got to get born again yeah. so we can hear him. And then we get spirit filled so that we can have the power and the ability to carry all these things out. And then you just yeah. curl up on his lap yeah. and have a cup of coffee. Think about, well, I got one more little thing on the old okay. covenant here. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know, when they brought the sacrifices and pastor mentioned this Sunday, um, they were the ones that sinned. The person, the person brought the sacrifice to the priest. Yes. And the person is the one that sinned, yes. not the sacrifice. Yeah, that the sacrifice lamb. just had to come perfect. Yep. Okay. And, but the sacrifice is the one that had to shed the blood, the one that had to lose its life, not the person. So even in the old covenant, when all these things were going on, these rituals, they had to do all these different things. The person... God's heart was for the person. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't have to give their life up. The sacrifice did. Mm -hmm. And now, who who is that perfect sacrifice that gave his life? Jesus. It's Jesus. Jesus gave his life for us. How can we see God any other way but good? Because all this time, we have been the ones that he has loved and cherished and has his arms constantly 24-7 out for us. He mm. is never in a bad mood. No. God is never angry with us, ever, 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 ever. I mean, from the beginning, we have been his plan to yeah. love. Yes. And to have and to hold and, and he, cherish. And he is, he's like, 
he's like our father. And like what we talked about when he was stroking your hair, you know, yes. and, and we spend intimate time, mm. it honors God yeah. when you treat mm. him as a father. Yeah. When you come to him with your problems or with your hurts or your, your concerns, and it honors him. And it says our children, we, our children mm. don't have to beg and plead, you mm-hmm. know, for, for a meal. We're going to feed them and you are his, his children and he is, he's not going to leave you forsaken. He will take care of everything you need. Father God, I just thank you for everyone that's here. Lord, if there's anyone here that has been um, pulled away, deceived that you're not good, we just pray that their eyes be open to the truth, that the hands of the enemy would be removed so that they can see Jesus who for who Jesus really is in their life. And so we just thank you all for your time. Have a good evening. Mm-hmm.